What's up, it's Cosentino. Today we're taking a look at a really cool card trick where I actually take the deck of cards and call, well, do you know what, I can't say too much. You need to stick around. All right, so this particular card trick is from my TV series, The Elements. It was a four part series made for Sony International Pictures, made out of Singapore, for Southeast Asia, it was in 22 different countries. And it was called The Elements, Earth, Wind, Fire, Water. Each of the episodes, there was four episodes, would deal with an element. This is where I was running around doing tricks that related to fire, tricks that related to water, tricks that related to earth uh, and air. And you can think about it, if you think about um, air levitations, fire hanging upside down from burning ropes, etc., etc. And all the street magic was relevant and that really cool concept and a lot of fun going to uh, Singapore, Taiwan, uh, Kuala Lumpur, um, and the Philippines. And so this particular piece is, is a, uh, a card trick. Um, now, this is what you need to understand. What actually happened was this. I would have a backpack full of magic gear and I would run around on the street and perform for celebrities. All these uh, celebrities uh, were lined up. Now these are huge celebrities in Asia. I'm talking, you know, millions of followers, subscribers, etc. I mean, as we go through it, you can look them up. Um, some more than others. The two celebrities um, in, in this particular piece, well, there's actually three, but the two celebrities, the two bunches are Justin and Alan, who are the hosts of Asia's Got Talent. And then Aaron Aziz, who is an action star and uh, he's like uh, this huge kind of martial arts expert. And they both give very different reactions. It's really, really interesting. And um, so what would happen was this, I would go into their homes and I would perform maybe five, five to sometimes even 10 different tricks and we would just film it. Uh, and what we got is what we got. And the best kind of reactions ended up on, 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 on the TV show, although, it was hard to do that many different effects. So most of it, most of what we filmed ended up actually on the TV show, which is a little bit scary because you want to have wiggle room if you, if you don't like a particular effect or it doesn't go the way you wanted, that you can kind of eliminate it. But we, we didn't really have that option. So you'll see me do the same trick for multiple different audiences to get different reactions. And um, it was a lot of fun. And, and being really, being out of my comfort zone, you know, walking down the streets of the Philippines, going into different homes in the Philippines and, and um, performing for these different people, different cultures was a, was a lot of fun. You know, one of the other things I loved so much performing for these different cultures, it was kind of like a, an experiment for me to see what kind of reaction I would get. And, you know, sometimes I was on the streets of the Philippines performing for these children that were homeless, and then the next day I'm performing the exact same trick, but this time for the Malaysian princess, and yet she had the same reaction to the magic as the homeless kids, meaning that it doesn't matter where you come from, your, 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 your economic background, your education, your status, magic breaks all those barriers down, and that, I guess, was the beautiful lesson for me uh, doing this particular show, because very often I couldn't even speak the language, well I couldn't speak the language, and yet magic breaks through that, it transcends that, and that's such a great thing to be able to experience that I'd never done before because in the past I had been performing in countries that, that spoke English. And for example, no matter where you go, if something levitates or disappears, it doesn't matter what language you speak, you inherently understand that something's disappeared or something has appeared, or something has levitated. And that was such an eye-opening experience for me. Uh, really, really cool. So I don't wanna to say too much about the effect because I want you to watch the video. Uh, it is a card trick and it's um, a bit of a different spin on a card trick. So let's check it out right now. Alan, you take a card, anyone you want, doesn't matter which one it is. Perfect, take the pen, write your name on it, sign your name on it, yeah, whatever you wanna do, I won't look. Yeah. And Justin, you'll do the same thing. When Alan's done, take the card, sign it, yeah. write your name on it. Try to watch him. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep my eye on him while you, no. It's tricky, tricky cards over tricky. here. Tricky, all right, tricky got it. You've done it? Yeah. 
Okay, great. Take um, the card, place it back, or take the pen. There we go. Place it back. Perfect. All right. So all you've got to do is remember the card, the suit, the colour, the value, but it doesn't really matter, does it, guys? Yeah. Because it's got your name on it. That's yeah. true. And we remember our names. Yeah. And you remember your names. Usually. Yeah. Yeah. You're watching my hands very closely. I am. I'm watching on them you right very, now. Very, very closely. Like a hawk. <laughs> it, it, is. Like hawk. it is. It is. It is. So this is what we do. We're going to take the cards and we'll put them inside the card box. Fair? Yeah. Okay, okay great. Just like this. We'll get right. it locked in. Perfect. Fair? Fair. Great. Now, Remember, you signed the card using the Sharpie pen. Ah, so it's got permanent ink on it. So all we've got to do is look for your card with the signature on it. Yeah. Fair? Got it. Okay, great. Watch this. Watch what I'm going to do here. See the ceiling? Yes, it's right there. You see, it's right there. All right, you got it there. Now watch. Watch, <laughs> the, watch the deck. No. <laughs> no. Is there? <laughs> it's there, oh my god. Yay. All right, very interesting for me to actually watch that. See, I don't watch the videos until I'm watching them with you so you get my real reaction. And I haven't seen that now in, you know, three years, four years. Um, very interesting, Justin and lovely guys. You can see why their hosts of Asia's Got Talent that banter off each other. Um, but did you notice how, how uh, skeptical they were watching my hands? As one was signing, the other was really kind of checking out my hands, making sure I'm not doing anything tricky. That made it very difficult for me because of course, I am doing something tricky with my hands. So it was kind of this tag team where one's signing, one's watching, then they, they swapped. And, and, and you'll see that they, they even when the cards are placed on the table, they're really burning the cards, making sure no trickery has taken place, which is tough. And I, I could feel that, hence the reason why I said that. But what's interesting is that when the card hit the ceiling and stuck there, because they were watching me so closely and they were trying to catch me out, you can really see that they're caught off guard and that's a genuine reaction because, well, because they were shocked. They had watched me so closely, analyzing everything, and then they were caught off guard and it produced that great response. And then of course, with the action star Aaron Aziz in his home, you can see he's just, he's, he's trying to compute. He's, you can see he's, my, he's, think, he's kind of thinking what's going on. Now, originally when that happened, the, the producers weren't quite happy because they wanted a, 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 an audible response, like a, ah, a shock on, ah, but he didn't do that. I knew that that was a brilliant response because I knew that that would cut in nicely with the other responses, which were audible. Him actually in shock, genuine, and, and trying to, you can see his mind ticking, how, how did this happen? And his children are talking over him, how, how did this take place? And he's just, uh, uh, uh. to me, that was such a good response, which was really interesting. Because having filmed uh, in America, having filmed in Paris, having filmed in uh, a little bit in the UK, and now all throughout Asia, more specifically, Southeast Asia, in Southeast Asia, the response that you garner is, it's very interesting, and I think it's due to the fact that um, they're more used to uh, mystery, the unknown, and I think it's a really wonderful thing, a really beautiful thing. They don't need to know how everything works. There is still mystery to the universe. There's many mysteries, but in Western society, we, we tend to always go, well, hang on, uh, science can explain this and explain that, and, and, and it can a lot of the time, but there's something wonderful about not having an explanation of how things happen. And, and in Asia, they're used to not wanting to know how everything works or how everything happens. Um, and I think that's great. And therefore you get that kind of response where it's like, oh, you know, wow, you know, I think that's a great thing. So a really fun piece, short, but I think quite interesting to take a look at. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. They're coming to you pretty much every single week. So until the next video, be safe, look after one another, and remember to always believe.